Hello and welcome everyone. So, I decided that I really, really needed to redo that uh, little engine that could. So, I'm proud to show you the little engine that could too. So, you know, I know that one was my first video, and I feel like I should have, um, you know, redone it and everything, because it's just wasn't the uh, best video. Uh, why isn't she taking off? Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn off the uh, time acceleration. It was the night when I started. So, I really wanted to remake the spacecraft, and I just didn't know if it would even be possible to do what I'm about to do. So, as you can see, there are no other engines besides the LV-1 engine. And so, uh, you might as well take off. So, go! Yeah, I'm sorry for the frame rate. It's not going to be the best. Um, I don't have any SAS module on here, so this is all basically controlled by hand. Which isn't the best, but, you know, whatever. As you can see, the first stage is um, a lot of, of these engines. I don't even know how many it is total. I should have counted before, uh, you know, I started. Let's see, eight. That's 42 for the first stage, and that's... Uh, that's 25 for the second stage, and then there's um, one... For the first stage, I guess, if you want to call it that. I guess I mixed up the stages, too. I guess this would be considered the first stage. Yeah, see? Frame rate kind of sucks. I'm sorry. Um, you can notice our altitude. We are climbing pretty steadily. Huh? Um, I couldn't even believe how fast I got this thing to go. And, um, you know, last night... I was just basically sitting, you know, just sitting around. I was kind of bored. Um, you know, the girlfriend just left. And, uh, yeah, so I decided to make a little rocket before I went to bed. And uh, this is what I came up with. Now, surprisingly, I mean, overall, like, I just didn't, like, I nearly crapped myself, like, just from the the first flight test and I just sat there kind of laughing about it and then uh, you know I uploaded uh, what is it one of my moon the uh, the tutorials last night and uh, I basically fell asleep like 20 minutes afterwards I couldn't even I couldn't even stay awake so but this morning I was up in bright and early and got another got the moon landing episode which is somewhat in you know, it can maybe the final episode for all my tutorials, but, you know, we'll see about that. If, you know, I, I would rather do some more stuff, so. You can notice our altitude. We are getting pretty high here. Um, now, like I said before, we are not using any other engine. There are no hidden engines. There's no mods, nothing. This is strictly with all stock parts. Whoa. Yeah. Being in control kind of sucks. I, I, I really, you know, for as much as I complain about using SAS modules and stuff like that, I mean, geez, I, I'm, I'm glad I use them. Uh, so, gotta start my orbital turn. And yes, orbital turn. As in, like, you know, this thing is going in orbit. So. Yeah, and now I'm, I'm going to hit, like, the SAS module. I'm like, come on, stay here. Stay here. And I forget. So. Detach that guy. And let's see what our altitude is at. Ooh, that, that's very good. Phenomenal. You can see we're losing speed here a little bit, but look at that. It's stopping. 
I was like the whole time I've been launching this and the whole time I was creating this rocket I've had like a permanent grin on my face like this is just absurd like you should not be able to do this there is no that like this is just not correct in any way shape or form and it's just uh wow um, I'm almost speechless from this whole thing now hopefully I'll be able to replicate my results from last night but we'll see what we can get uh, I didn't really it wasn't the most efficient launch last night because I basically just put on time acceleration and didn't even think about it and uh, yeah so let's see what we get All right. there we go it's perfectly straight and we're climbing a little bit, so let's nose down. Yeah, so I'm I'm thinking about doing a uh, doing uh, more on the moon. Those are my next episodes. I'm thinking about um, showing you guys how I actually connect two pieces on the moon together. Uh, you know, like how Moonbase Alpha went from just that one single main piece to the two pieces that it is at now. And, uh, yeah, so, like, I mean, if you guys are more interested on in seeing stuff like that, um, I mean, I, I'm still, you know, messing around with everything. Um, as you can see, uh, I have the little engine that could, too. Um, I'm just messing around with the um i this game is just like i've been messing around with everything there's just so much stuff i i just can't even you know it's like i'll start on one project and i'll go to another one and another one and another one and it's just a constant and as you can see we still have a good amount of fuel left I did not know that these engines, like, you know, whenever I'm using them, I'm using them in a cluster. So, like, I really don't know how much power one of these little engines has, nor do I know how much fuel it, it can actually burn. So, like, it, it's just uh, so unknown to me that one engine like this only burns, like, that much fuel that's, like, nothing. That's absolutely nothing at all. I mean, you could build little rovers, like, you know, if you wanted, like, a small extended, like, you know, for a few meters per second, I mean, a few kilometer rover, just using one engine as a, you know, thrust. So, I got the little engine that could into orbit, and you saw it here first. This is all LV-1 engines. Um... And we didn't, I don't think we we're back in the atmosphere. Maybe we are. Um, I kind of really messed up this orbit, but yeah. Um, little engine that could made it to orbit. Now, I had to put this little solar panel on here because this thing uses, you know, its electrical charge. And uh, these little engines do not actually produce any electrical charge whatsoever. So I, I needed something. So I'm a th I think I'm going to wait until I get out to my um, aprolapsis. And I'm going to try to do a little bit of an orbit correction. Yeah, I'm technically still in the atmosphere right now. Even though... Even though this isn't changing at all, because if, if I were still in the atmosphere, this would be getting pulled down. So I think I hit just, I hit like just the right, you know, part or whatever, where I'm not technically in the atmosphere, where I'm going to um, produce any drag, but, um, you know, I'm just like on the very, very outside. So let's get out. Come on. I'm probably going to delete this thing after, I mean, like, well, just the craft itself, not the uh, actual uh, rocket. Um, just because I don't want more stuff in orbit like this. 
you know, I, I delete a lot of stuff out of orbit, and um, I do have debris set to zero, and I know some of you guys don't like that, but, I, you know, for me, I just, I don't want, the hardest thing ever is when you're trying to go, like, interplanetary, and, um, you know, you, you have your maneuver node, and you're trying to click on it, and there's just, like, piles of stuff in your way and it's all these like leftover stages and all kinds of just weird things but the L the, this LV-1 engine should not be able to achieve orbit right off the surface this is just absurd to me this is absurd this is just no uh, I know this is like relatively lightweight so it's you know not gonna um you know, it should be able to do something, but I didn't expect this thing to ever get into orbit, ever. Like, just messing around with this. The worst part is, is because this is still technically in the atmosphere, I can't speed up past 4x, so... Come on. I think I might just start burning right now, because I'm too, I'm just too lazy to wait. Um, yeah, I don't want to burn retrograde. I'd want to do prograde, I think, like, somewhere. This would, I think, down here? Wait, no, I think it'd be more down here. Yeah, that works, I guess. Now I can speed up time past there. Alright, um, done one X. Oh, and my battery's dead. That's, uh, man, it's so freaking black on this side. Like, Jesus, like, you can't even see anything. I, you can't even see the probe. You can't see anything. That's the one thing I think I do kind of have a problem with in this game is the fact that when it is dark, it's just, like, pitch black like you're not seeing anything all right come on give me some juice son oh man this isn't gonna be good all I need is like two seconds of power come on If this thing is like permanently faced towards the dark side, that would just kind of suck. I th I'm sure it will probably correct itself eventually. Otherwise, yeah, I basically got a dead probe. Whatever. Should have put a bigger battery on it, but uh, that increases weight, increases drag, and I can't do that. So, yeah, I guess this thing is dead. Um, the la the one I had last night wasn't dead. I guess that was just from my stupidity of facing it the wrong way. But uh, yeah, so the little engine that could too made it to orbit off of just LV1 engines, which is unbelievably amazing. And I do believe the ants have a space mission now. I think so. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you next episode.